Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see replacement models in operation research. Okay. Before we see the problem, please subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon to get the further notification of my new uploads. Now let us see what is a replacement model briefly. Then we will see the problem. Okay. See, replacement model is used in the decision making process of replacing a used equipment or used asset with a substitute mostly a new equipment or new asset for better usage okay this is the meaning of replacement okay see why we need to replace an asset the reason is the asset value or the efficiency of the asset is gradually decreases with the passage of time okay at the same time the maintenance cost or running cost of a particular equipment or particular asset is gradually increases with the passage of time. Okay. Both the item always move opposite direction. The efficiency is gradually decreases and the maintenance cost is gradually increases. Okay. See, in one particular time, the maintenance cost will be very high. So, you need to design to replace the old asset with a new one. Okay. For that, you need to find the optimum replacement period. That is when we need to replace the old asset with the new one. Okay. This is called as optimum replacement period. The next one is replacement policy. We will see the replacement policy along with the problem for better understanding. Okay. The next one is replacement models. See, there are three different models are there for replacement. Okay. The first one is replacement of items that deteriorate. Okay. That is whose maintenance cost is increases with time. Okay. Here we are considering only the maintenance cost in order to find out the optimum replacement period. Okay. But simply ignoring changes in the value of money during the period. We are not considering changes in the value of money. This is the first model. The second model same thing but here replacement of items whose maintenance that is the running cost or maintenance cost increases with time and the value of money also changes with time okay in the second model we are going to consider both the thing that is changing the maintenance cost as well as the changing the value of money with the time okay both the items need to be given equal consideration okay this is the second model and the third one is group replacement policy these are the three different models for replacement but here we are going to see the problem for the first model that is replacement of items that deteriorate that is uh, the maintenance cost increases with time but we are ignoring the changing the value of money the remaining two things we are going to see in the next video please check the description box to find the links okay now let us see the problem for the first one for better understanding look at the first problem under replacement model okay see the cost of a machine is 10500 and its scrap value is 500. Scrap value means resale value. That is residual value. Okay, 500 rupees. The maintenance cost found from the experience are as follows. Here, they have given maintenance cost for the 8 years. Okay, first year, second year till 8 years. The maintenance cost of rupees for the first year 300, second year 500, third year 700, fourth year 1000, next fifth year 1400. 6th year 1900, 7th year 2400 and 8th year 3000. See, the maintenance cost is gradually increases. Okay. And now, when should the machine be replaced? The question is, uh, they ask you to find out the optimum replacement period. That is, uh, when should the machine to be replaced? That is the question. Okay. Now, what are the informations given in the problem? The machine cost is 10,500. And its scrap value, that is the resale value is 500. Okay. And how many years? 8 years information are there. And 8 years maintenance cost also given in the problem. Okay. Now, see the solution table. Here we have 7 different columns. Okay. The first one is years of service. Okay. See how many years? 8 years which is given in the problem. 
and the second column is resale value that is scrap value so according to this problem the scrap value remains same that is 500 so that enter the resale value right from the beginning to till the end okay there will be no changes in the resale value so enter 500 for all the years okay then the third one is you need to calculate depreciation cost okay for that apply the formula the formula is purchase price minus resale value you will be getting depreciation cost for each and every year okay so according to this problem the resale value remains same okay for each and every year so that the depreciation cost also remain same according to this problem okay see the purchase price how much 10500 and the resale value how much 500 so 10500 minus 500 10000 rupees okay so enter 10000 for all the years see we have entered depreciation cost okay the next one is annual cost so this cost is given in the problem itself okay you can find the annual maintenance cost in the problem itself how much 300 500 700 1000 thousand four hundred thousand nine hundred two thousand four hundred three thousand see the maintenance cost is gradually increases okay the next thing is first you need to calculate cumulative annual maintenance cost okay for that just take the first value as it is and for the second year just find out the cumulative value that is 300 plus 500 800 then 800 plus 700 1500 Then thousand five hundred plus thousand two thousand five hundred. In this way, you need to calculate cumulative maintenance cost. Let me do the calculation. For the first year, enter the same value. Okay, the maintenance cost how much? Three hundred. Enter the same value. Next year, three hundred plus five hundred, eight hundred. Okay, then eight hundred plus seven hundred, thousand five hundred. Then thousand five hundred plus thousand. 2500 in this way find out the cumulative value for till the end of the year 3900 plus 1900 is equal to 5800 8200 then 8200 plus 3000 11200 okay see this is the cumulative maintenance cost okay the next column is total cost so total cost consists of depreciation cost that is column number 3 depreciation cost plus cumulative maintenance cost that is uh, column number 3 plus column number 5 3 is depreciation cost and fifth column is cumulative maintenance cost okay both the cost need to be added to find out the total cost okay this is the formula that is depreciation cost plus cumulative maintenance cost is equal to total cost okay just find out the value 10000 plus 300 10300 then 10000 plus 800 10800 then 10000 plus 1500 11500 like this way you have to find out the total cost till the 8th year 12500 13900 14000 18200 21200 okay so we have entered total cost okay we have added depreciation cost plus cumulative maintenance cost in order to find out the total cost the final column is average annual cost okay you need to find out the average annual cost okay for that just take the total cost divided by years of service okay that is uh, column number 6 divided by column number 1 that is total cost divided by number of years for the first one total cost 10300 this is for the first year so 10300 divided by 1 is equal to 10300 second year 10800 divided by 2 how much 5400 for the third year 11500 divided by 3 You'll be getting three thousand eight hundred and thirty-three. Okay, and the next one, fourth year, twelve thousand five hundred divided by four. Okay, three thousand one twenty-five. Next year, thirteen thousand nine hundred divided by five. Fifth year, no, so divided by five, two thousand seven eighty. Next year, fourteen thousand four 
15,800 divided by 6. Okay, 2,633. Then 7th year, 18,200 divided by 7. 2,600. Then 8th year, 21,200 divided by 8. 2,650. Okay. See, we have calculated average annual cost by taking total cost divided by years of service. Okay. Now, you have to decide which year you need to replace the machine. Okay. After finding average annual cost. Okay. The next step is you need to find the minimum average annual cost. So, which is the least value in this particular column? Yes. 2600 is the minimum annual average cost. Okay. So, this cost falls under which year? 7th year. Okay, so this is the optimum replacement period. Why? Because in this particular year, the average annual cost is least. That is minimum. So, this year is the optimum replacement period. Now, after finding the optimum replacement period, now check with the replacement policy. Okay, see the replacement policy. If the running and maintenance cost of the machine for the next year is more than the Average annual cost of selected year. Okay. Then replace the machine at the end of the selected year. Okay. Here you have to compare two things. The first one is running and maintenance cost of the machine for the next year. And the average annual cost of selected year. Okay. And the running and maintenance cost of 8th year. Our selected year is 7th year. Right. 8th year running and maintenance cost should be more than the. Average annual cost of selected year. That is 7th year average annual cost. Okay. Then you can replace the asset at the end of the 7th year. That is selected year. Now see the solution. See the solution. The selected year is 7th year. Right. Okay. The 7th year average annual cost is 2600. Okay. And the next year annual maintenance cost is 3000. Now you have to compare. Annual maintenance cost of next year and the average annual cost of selected year. Which one is highest value? This one is highest value. Okay. If the running and maintenance cost of the machine for the next year, how much? 3000. Right? Okay. This amount should be more than the average annual cost of selected year. That is selected is 7th year. So, 7th year's average annual cost how much? 2000. 600 right okay this amount should be more than the this amount okay this one is next year maintenance cost and this one is selected year average annual cost so this particular solution satisfy the replacement policy okay see according to this problem seventh year is the optimum period to replace the machine okay in the next video, we will see the same model with a different situation. Please check the description box to find the links. Okay. Hope you like the video. Please support us by like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.